Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going over the five things I hate about my $3,600 ARE topper. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a reminder, I am doing a monthly giveaway every month and I have been for the last six months. We've had plenty of winners. But this month, I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. All you gotta do to enter is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment on the videos in November. The more you comment, the more chances you have to win. Basically, I choose a random video, then I choose a random comment from that video, and that comment could be you and you could be walking away with hundred dollars if you haven't seen my last video I discussed why this topper cost me thirty six hundred dollars and all the different options I have on it but there's a couple things that happened during the ordering process that drove me insane for something this price you should have the ability to customize it how you want but ARE told me otherwise firstly just to get this out of the way yes we're in a pandemic and such is life when I ordered this they told me the lead time was six to eight weeks it actually took me 12 weeks and there was no update I had to keep following up on that that's just part of light not complaining just letting you know if you want to order one guarantee that lead time is going to be double what they say now as I've been told I have a pretty unique setup on my cap here I have a toolbox on the other side and then a glass window a lot of people ask me why well the simple answer is I'm gonna keep all my tools in the tool toolbox and I'm gonna have the window so I can see out when I'm sleeping in the back but this isn't the window I ordered I actually ordered the window that could open this way and also slide but ARE refused to put it on my capper because it wasn't the same size as the toolbox to me that's ridiculous I wanted it to open up because I'm gonna have my dog in there a couple times and it would be great just to open up so I can see him when we're going on those long road trips maybe give him some food without taking him out of the actual cap but hey who am I I'm just the guy ordering a $3,600 topper now when you're looking at the back of the topper where the glass window shuts down the gap on the top is very small and it gradually gets bigger exposing some of the rivets see how the gap is nice and tidy there it gets wider and wider and then you can see the rivets inside to me that's just an oversight there's no reason this black trim shouldn't go all the way down. To me, that's an oversight, especially since the rubber trim does. If you look in here, there's a fiberglass shavings that just aren't finished off nicely. Uh, to me, yeah, that's just bad quality. Now this isn't a real big concern, but it does look bad for a topper that's almost $4,000. You think they would make the glass to fit? And also what that means is it will have less bolt area for the locking, so it'll be more flimsy and easier to break in. Now I ordered the toolbox on the one side and there are some fitment issues that to me just don't look $4,000 quality. Firstly, there are some sidewalls so your tools don't fall into the cab, but those sidewalls don't have uh, enough adjustment to actually seal off the toolbox. Inside here is what I'm talking about. There is a straight up gap. This is adjustable, but you see as it's, it's not sturdy because it doesn't have enough adjustment to touch the side wall. I ordered it this way. This should fit in correctly. There are adjustments that might be able to fix this scenario, but they've already screwed the holes into the ceiling here and that would have to come forward. So I don't know if this is the installer's issue or if this is actually uh, the manufacturer that made the issue. To me, that's just an oversight on ARE and the R&D. Now sticking with the toolbox, I thought it would be a closed compartment toolbox sealing it off from the cab, but it's actually not. The top of the toolbox is open Open, leaving a mm, let's just say a tacky looking finish to it to me they should have just sealed this off or gone all the way to the ceiling to make this a complete toolbox as well you see all these holes these are so you can order dividers when you order the capper I've been told you can't order the dividers after you order the cap so why put these holes here? They should at least have an option where you can order the dividers once you figure out how you want to arrange this locker. 
And one last thing to mention, I just got this cap about three days ago and I've noticed there is a paint defect or a fiberglass defect. So here is the paint blemish I'm talking about. You can see it's bumpy or maybe it's hard to see it, but everything else is smooth. And then here it looks like they forgot to sand it. It is pretty bumpy and annoying for a $4,000 topper. I don't know if this is bubbling up, but it doesn't look good there. You can see it. I don't know if it's covered under warranty. I don't know if I'm going to do anything about it because I actually waited so long for this and I want to use it. So I'm going to submit a claim to ARE, see what they have to say about it, and I'll get back to you. Now guys, those are the main problems with my ARE topper. There are some fitment issues, some quality issues that I can see, but overall I am extremely happy with the topper. But that being said, I think ARE could step it up a bit for a cap that cost me $3,600. So guys, if you have any questions about the topper, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear your feedback or your questions so I can help you figure out if this is the right topper for you. So guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment below so you have a chance to win that $100 Amazon gift card. But until next time, I'll see you then.